I would like to draw attention to something. In a world where computers rule nearly every aspect of our lives, privacy and security are now more important than ever before and failure to take basic steps is inexcusable even for the most basic websites. With online guides and wiki pages detailing step-by-step, -step, free and secure patch fixes to most hacks and the entire worldwide compendium of knowledge on every single aspect of the computer sciences this is not acceptable. Recently while working with SQL map I came across a vulnerable injection point. This is a website that has some form of vulnerability to SQL injection attacks which are attacks against a website's information storage database. SQL map is what we would term a kitty scripting program, or security testing if you want to be anew about it. It is a tool that requires no real knowledge of computing or hacking to affect the results of a hacker, in this case the control of the site's database information. After seeing the injection point I believed it to be a false positive and ignored it but it niggled at me and I went back for further testing. The website was the master and developer database for Norwich International Airport. Some of the more tech savvy may be thinking, okay well that's a bit stupid but so what it's just a website. But while snooping around I found interesting things, like how to access the emergency broadcast system, how to lock the admins out of their systems, IP addresses passwords and personal information for a variety of people including the site developers, various high-level staff within the airport including its security department and its media center which is where I got the email addresses I used to send this email as well as your passwords which you will see. But don't think I just decided to send this out to you. Firstly I sent an email to the web developers and the internal emails I located for staff at the airport giving them a deadline to fix or inform me that they would be fixing before the 31st of October. Giving them more than a month to sort this out, as you see I did receive the reply and at first I was willing to leave it at that but today is the 9th of November and despite the site being moved and measures undertaken as Mr. Littlewood stated in his email the site was just as vulnerable to attack. More importantly I was contacted by a friend of mine in the Muslim Electronic Army who knowing my feelings about my country's systems and being on friendly terms informed me they had a good breach on Norwich Airport to trade which they were planning on having fun with around Christmas, which could cause alarm or disruption to many people's Christmas. Knowing the information was genuine I had to trade three very good system breaches and 100 high spec rated systems from my botnet to get him to leave this site to me which any geek would realize is a shit trade and a pain in the ass. As such I officially no longer give a fuck about being nice about this. I told them to secure their ship or I would make this public and let the public force them to sort this out. So now you know, what you do with this now is up to you but this knowledge is no longer in the hacker world. This video is publicly available to any idiot little kitty scripter or hacker out there and with public release it is understood in our world that the place or system is no longer under protection so their systems are now free for all. Some may see this as excessive or a bad thing to do but that is because you don't understand our world. With a breach of something as simple as a web server you can with talent use that to access any linked system. Airport check-in. Their traffic control are systems that can be linked in a single network. Access to the web server can be used to take control or infect users of that system giving access to even more with access to one you can escalate to access to all with talent. The black hat defaces a website or crashes a server and everyone freaks out and changes are made. Thus grays or whites try to inform people nicely that there are issues and we get it nor door fogged off so I'll let the public deal with this. Do you want to fly from an airport that may not have control of their own computers? Love and kisses his royal gingerness PS sorry about the stupid text to speech. My laptop is so fucked at the moment you wouldn't believe and my onboard mic is a large steaming pile of shit and I couldn't be bothered to wait till I get paid to get a new one so deal with it. I'll post this in the description in case you can't understand it properly.